All right, this one, we're solving. All we're doing is solving. So the goal when you're solving these is get e to the x by itself. So this goes back to really basic stuff. First thing is add that over. 3e to the x equals 14. Then divide by what? 3. We now have e to the x equals 14 over 3. Then you have two different ways to solve this. You have, for some of you, you want to log both sides. So you're going to get log base e, e to the x equals log base e, 14 over 3. Log base e is ln. And from there, you understand this cancels, leaving you just simply x. And this becomes ln 14 over 3. Now, could that also be ln 14 minus ln 3? Yeah. This will probably be a more likely answer. OK, so that's one route. Here's the other route, and I like this one better. For me. What I do, instead of logging both sides, base E, because the base is E, which is LN. But what I like to do is, I like to, when I want to solve this, I like to just get rid of the, to get rid of a log, to get rid of an exponent, you change it to a log. So I write the log in front. You just write the word log in front. Okay. And then you switch these two. You write the word log in front of it, and then you switch the exponent with the answer. And when you switch those, it simply becomes log base e 14 over 3 equals x, which this, those are both the same answer. So you can either write a log in front and switch the exponent and the answer, or you can log both sides of the base of the exponent. Either works. OK. Now for this one, you first just bring the 2 out front. Could you, or could you square root both sides? Yeah. You can square root both sides, but isn't it easier maybe just to bring the 2 out front? And then can we divide by 2? Now, from there you have two ways to do this. Some of you like to exponentiate. So from here, some of you are going to want to do this. Put an e here and an e here, and you get x minus 2 equals e to the 6th. That's cool. And then you just add the 2 over. x equals e to the 6th plus 2. That is a cool way to do it. Again, what I tend to do when I see this a lot of times is I see this as log base e x minus 2 equals 6. That's how I see it. And then all I do is I go and go, OK, get rid of that, and then switch these two. So you drop the log, and you have e to the 6th equals x minus 2. And is this the same as this? Will they both solve the same way? This will give you that answer. So you can either just switch those two and drop the log, or you can exponentiate. So, your call.